what we're doing is looking at that rocket to see how it performs. You look at it, you might recognize those white boosters on the side. That, those are repurposed from the, from the shuttle years. And we want to see how that all, system all works together in tandem. And on the most important thing, of course, is that crew capsule, Orion, that is sitting on top. We want to see, this is going to be a 42-day mission around the moon, and we want to see how that performs. And then importantly, coming back, you're going to see the Orion capsule, that test of that heat shield. That is critical for re-entry. It is coming in at 40,000 kilometers per hour. And if the Artemis 1 mission goes as planned? Artemis 2 is next, and that will be launching sometime in 2020 or 2025. We will have a Canadian astronaut on board. And then there's Artemis 3, and that's going to be done in tandem with uh, SpaceX and their massive rocket Starship. Uh, in Artemis 2, you're going to have astronauts orbiting the moon and coming back. Artemis 3 will have boots on the ground. That's the idea, is to get astronauts on the surface of the moon once again. And this isn't just a, hey, we're going and we're touching down and coming back collecting moon rocks. This is actually building a permanent presence in space. Canada is contributing to the Lunar Gateway, which is part of this overall return uh, to the moon. And on that will be Canada Arm 3. And because of that, that's why we get astronauts on, our, on the Artemis mission. And that's actually really kind of like a platform to head not just to, you know, moon as a jumping off point, but also to Mars. That is the long-term goal.